our commons class we are going to talk about types of occupation if you remember last class we discussed occupation and we use a diagram to explain what occupation is today we want to see the types of occupation but please if you've not watched that video go back to that video because i'm going to refer to the video while explaining types of occupation remember that in the diagram we have on that chart we have three uh, column while we're explaining occupation we have the industrial areas we have the commercial areas and we have the service areas of occupation and so our types of occupation falls within this three range either we are working under the industrial aspect of occupation or we are working under the commercial aspect of occupation or we are working under the service aspect of occupation our occupation falls within these three areas for those who are in the industrial occupation we have those who are in the extractive industries those who are into crude those who work in the oil industry are into crude oil petroleum products they extract it in its natural state and refine it those who are in the mining industry those who mine gold they are equally in these areas so occupation we have those in the extractive industry which are those in the oil who are working in the oil firm and those who are working in the mining industry the gold area and those who are farmers who have large-scale farmers who have small-scale farmers all of them falls into these areas then we have manufacturing industry those who use the raw materials to produce finished products for us they manufacture from the natural states of products those who produce food for us like the gary uh, like the semo our beverages it is natural things they use to turn into finished product for us those are the people in the manufacturing industry then we have the constructive industry those who do our roads our engineers our welders our bricklayers and other people that are found bearing in the constructive industry so industrial occupation covers this area then we go to commercial those who are involved in buying and selling trade import and export wholesale retailing they fall under this place many persons out there are traders then we have those who work under the aids of trade if you've not watched our, our, our class on trades it has we have taught this on our business study class on our uh, commercial class commerce class too aids to trade we have our warehousing communication advertising uh, tourism uh, banking and uh, other areas we have about eight of them you are definitely employed either in the banking sector in the communication sector in the advertising sector in the tourist uh, uh, areas in warehousing and other areas even involving e-commerce these are aids to trade people who are employed gainfully employed in these sectors that's another type of occupation we can get involved we have those in the service industry or the service occupation under service occupation we have the direct and indirect services direct service are people who give you service and you gain from it immediately like tailors they offer direct services to you like teachers they offer direct services to you like barbers they offer direct services to you like hairdressers they offer direct services to you then we have those in the indirect service we have our soldiers we have our police they are indirectly they are protecting us and so we 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 feel their services even if we are not gaining it directly from them so even if we don't gain it directly from them we equally feel the heat of their service we equally feel the impact of their services we enjoy from it even if they are not directly involved with us so we have seen the three areas of occupation covers 
our industrial occupation, our commercial occupation, and our service occupation. Extractive, manufacturing, constructive come under this. Commercial will have trade and aids to trade. It comes under this. And the other services will have direct and indirect services. Now let's see factors that affect employment in our environment. What's affecting employment? What are the factors that can affect employment in our environment, in our country? Climate and weather differences, natural resources, education and skills, salaries and wages, industrial hazard, policies, other factors like health issues, interests, and individuals' abilities. Climate and weather differences. Climate can affect our employment because there are places where the weather condition is not favorable. If it is raining season, there are some jobs that might suffer, like the constructive industry might suffer. Because you want to be out there, building bridges, building roads, the rain will cause a problem. That is a factor affecting employment. So, at a certain time of the year, people who are employed in these areas, they go and stood up. They stop working for a while until the season changes, they'll come back to work. So that is one area that affects employment. Then we have natural resources. Like those who do not have oil in their area might not be able to extract crude from its natural state because they don't have the natural resources required. What about coal? If coal is not found in your area, you won't have the natural resources to do things. So natural resources, like those in the agro-industry, if you want to uh, place an industry where you produce tomato, you know that there is going to be a tomato farm around that you can get your source of raw material. So if this natural source, these natural raw materials are not there, then you cannot. You want to... Uh, build a smith industry and you are not where you can find raw materials to produce the smith. It won't work. So natural resources is another problem that affects employment. Education and skills. There are some jobs that need educated people and skillful people. For example, a teacher not needs to be educated to be able to teach, to carry out their direct services to people. Our uh, plumbers, Welders, they need these skills to be able to be gainfully employed. Most times, people do not have these skills. The educational skills they don't have, ordinary hand skills they don't have. At the end of the day, they will not be employed. So this is another thing that affect uh, employment. Salaries and wages. They pay peanuts. Like our private school teachers, most of the areas where they see they are suffering, they pay them peanuts that cannot sustain them. And so the salary and the wages that are involved are not commensurate to what they are putting in. That gives them discouragement to carry out such work. That's another area that affects our employment rates. So it's not well paid. He cannot put in the be his best or her best. And so salaries and wages are motivating factor to make people work and put in their best. Industrial hazards. There are jobs that are so hazardous that people don't want to go into them. If you work in a very high sanded area, you may have problem with your eardrums. Or you work in chemical areas where chemicals are handled, your head is at risk because you're going to inhale this chemical. And these chemicals are not favorably. They are not uh, good to our health. Like those who are uh, extracting crude, that flaring is not good for the environment and they are there. In the hospitals, doctors are exposed to different diseases, all health workers are exposed to different diseases, which makes some people want to run away from such work. Then we have policies, government policy here and there. Today you are able to carry out an activity, tomorrow you are not able. Like for those who want to farm in their hands as farmer. The policy said, no, it is not advisable to do that in this country. So if that is your area of specialty or that is where you want to go in, and the policy have cancelled that, you cannot do it. Hard drugs are not 
supposed to come into the country. So policies hinder some people from bringing in some kind of product or produce some kind of products. Harmful drugs, harmful products are regulated by the government, so they cannot do it. They cannot produce it or bring it in. Then other factors, like I told you, other factors can be health issues, interest, or individual ability. Somebody might want to work, but his health condition is not favorably. He doesn't have the head, he's disabled. So his capacity is limited. He wants to work, but he's disabled or he has no ability, he has no skill to go into such job. His interest is not interested in that area because there are job hazards, the wages are not commensurate. Or health issue, the person is exposed to health related problems if it goes there. So these are factors that affect employment in our environment. In our next class, we'll discuss other areas of our commercial class. Share, subscribe. Thank you for dropping by.